Hello, got another step forward happening in the polytunnel today. Uh, Dave and I are planning to put in uh, a new raised bed all along the edge there and that's where hopefully I'll be growing my tomatoes this year. So we've taken out uh, all the staging supports apart from uh, the ones at the very end there. So these are all taken out just to make it easier to work in this space. In the other areas of the polytunnel, uh, this bed, well, it's just got all the junk that I've removed from elsewhere. <laughs> so that's just resting in there. And then you can see where's one of those staging supports. That is a metal raised bed, which I was experimenting with having in here. It's not gonna stay. So that will be going back outside. There's a bed here with parsley and nigella and uh, lettuces. That's a romaine lettuce. They're looking lovely. All these strings uh, are for climbing plants, for tomato supports or for cucumbers to scramble up. And this peach tree uh, is a peach peregrine. It's been uh, in blossom. They're mostly starting to go over now. And uh, this goes almost uh, all the way up to the roof. Now it was uh, actually up to the roof at the end of last year uh, and I cut it so that uh, the, the branches wouldn't damage uh, the poly uh, on the roof. Um, and I think pretty much I'm gonna have to do the same again this year. I had hoped to be able to uh, lift that tree and move it outside, um, but it had already come uh, into a bud by the time I thought about it. So uh, that will have to wait until next autumn. But as soon as the leaves all die down uh, in the autumn, I'm going to be moving that uh, outside. There's water coming out of the ground. Just, <laughs> just bursting out of the ground. Um, so it's dry in that direction. And then we've got this torrent of water coming from, is this an underground spring? Okay, so I've just, I've just literally used my foot to try and make the hole a bit bigger. Um, the only thing I can think is that that is a, <laughs> either a rabbit warren or, uh, or a mole system. It may be raining, but nothing's going to dampen my mood because in the next couple of days, my new book, The Season Gardener, is going to arrive with me. And for a week or so, my website will be the only place that you can buy it. Head over to buythefarm.com forward slash books. And from the 11th of April, you'll be able to buy The Season Gardener at all your usual bookstores and online places. After some discussions with Dave, uh, we decided not to put back in uh, the staging that was here before, the staging supports, because my concern was that they would come quite a way across this narrow path and uh, would be a bit of a trip hazard. So uh, on the other side uh, of the polytunnel, amongst all the mess there, uh, I have got some shelving. And what you can see here are all the supports uh, from this side waiting to go down to the barn um, it has just been raining non-stop uh, it has been very heavy rain uh, the gushing water coming out of the hill has kind of reduced a bit but there's still an awful lot of water going on um, and I haven't been terribly inclined to be carrying uh, metal poles down to the uh, down to the barn it's not very far but uh, even so I <laughs> didn't fancy doing that so uh, instead of that I have spent some time in the last day or so planting some seeds. Uh, about a month ago I planted some broad bean seeds and I have planted nothing else so I'm now pleased to say I've got my first seeds uh, in this year so that was things like uh, leeks, loads of different brassicas, some chard, some beetroots, I'm sure there was something else and I've forgotten what it was. Tomatoes, I planted tomatoes and cosmos they're in a heated propagator on the kitchen windowsill. Anyway, they, they are all in seed trays. They're still down at the house, waiting for me to bring them up here. Uh, they'll come up later on today. But when I'm out here, I have just noticed 
a couple of things. We've got uh, strawberries in flower, which I'm very excited about, but that does mean I need to start making sure that the, these beds are adequately watered. That's not a problem at the moment because the water just comes down the hill uh, under the polytunnel and although I'm kneeling on the ground, my knee is getting pretty wet. Um, so, so that's good. Uh, so those will be producing some fruit uh, this year, I hope. But also, uh, just there, I've noticed we've got a couple of white borage plants that are in flower. This actually brings me a huge amount of joy. Look at these beauties. And I've also noticed uh, plants like these lupins, which I sowed in the autumn, are doing really well. So these ones were just left in a seed tray um, <laughs> and I forgot to do anything with them and they flourished. And the ones that I very carefully potted on into pots and suspended so that um, mice and other rodents would get at them. Well, they're struggling, so I've ended up putting them outside to try and get uh, some more water. These ones, which I didn't fiddle with, are really happy. Well, hurrah, it has finally stopped raining. Uh, so I want to show you what's been going on uh, outside. Let's have a quick look at what's available to harvest in the veg garden today. Here and along there, there is a slight mound, and that has now been planted with a rose hedge. So it's a Rosa rugosa alba, so it'll produce white petals on its flowers and then big fat rose hips. And that's what I'm growing it for, uh, so that I can harvest the rose hips, and make syrup and jellies, but most of all, rose hip wine. And out here uh, in the food forest, we have carried on uh, getting the raised beds edged um, so they're going on we've done quite well now there's a four or five of those put in and this row has now been planted up with red currants and further down that end of the food forest uh, i've put in some ornamentals and also some black currants say I've put them in that's that's not entirely uh, true uh, we had some people here at the weekend doing some volunteering so Sam and Anna uh, thank you very much for your help getting all of those plants in um, it was really really appreciated since I've had Covid I have really struggled uh, to get very much done out in the garden and so I'm very much relying on friends uh, and volunteers to come and help uh, get the last of the bare root plants in uh, and I'm relying on Dave and uh, Mr J to do the heavy moving of stuff like all these planks of wood uh, and wood chips and things like that to, to further develop the garden. One of the reasons that we wanted to move to a larger site was so that we could have some larger livestock and I'm really pleased to say that uh, our small flock of sheep, three ewes, uh, have started lambing and so Maggie May has had a ram lamb who uh, Mr J has named Rocky and uh, Bambi has had another ram lamb which I've named Blethin and then Olive the last of you is still well she's still waiting to lamb um, so hopefully she will have her twins in the next few days. <laughs> 